So I have actually wanted to do this video for a very long time. Now I am in my friend Billy and James's garage and they have let me loose in here by myself. This garage is full of rare and old Japanese tuning parts, which I'm gonna have a bit of a rummage and show you guys what I can find. I'll probably find stuff that they don't even know they had. There's so much stuff in here. Got the two cars, so we'll go through them as well. So most of this stuff was actually bought back when, you know, Yahoo Japan was easy to find stuff, stuff was cheap. So most of this stuff is actually really old, like bought, you know, five, 10 years ago when you could still actually find old tuning parts. Yeah, it's very hard to find stuff nowadays, but we'll start over here with the car. I've actually done a video on this car previously, which I will link at the top of the page here. This is going to test my memory, but uh, Stroker SR20, Low Mount TD06, Greedy Plenum, Genuine ARC Airbox, Genuine G Ready Hot Side, ARC, Nismo, Nismo again. We've got some kids heart stuff uh, Genuine Nismo grill Genuine Nismo bar With the vents Bomex front lip uh, The brick headlights Full set of Rega Masters 32 GDR brakes from memory Bomex mirrors Genuine weather shields Confetti Recaros from a Supra Old logo gear knob on the hydro. A Rito style wheel. Genuine plastic skirts. Bomex rear add on. I cannot remember what this add on is called, but very cool on the wing. Got a broken down SR20 in pieces over here. See stuff like this, so hard to find. ARC. Old Greedy Boost Controller. Some Jun SR20 cams. These look like T28s. This is very, very cool. ARC stuff is so hard to find. So old intercooler, ARC. What else can we find in here? <laughs> Even the wheels they got. Look, Moon Eyes stuff. Tom's racing jacket. Our funny story, this racing suit. <laughs> I was actually with these guys in Japan and I actually found this suit in an up garage and the idiot I am, I walked past it and thought, oh, I'll think about it. By the time I came back to it, Billy had already grabbed it and bought it, so I'm really spilling that I missed out on that suit. But anyway, it was super cheap. From memory, it was like 50 bucks or 80 bucks or something like that. Anyway, onto wheels over here. What do we have? Let's go around here. No idea what these are, but there's a full set of them. There's two here, two on the front of the Datsun with some onis on the back. Another set of Recaros. A pattern that I actually have never seen before. So if anyone knows what these are. These seats are in very good nick actually. Nismo lower control arms. What else can we find? So I've just spotted something up here. We're gonna have to get creative. Genuine Nismo grill, and that's the box for it. A genuine Nismo grill with the box. I'm gonna skip the wheels for now because that's gonna be a bit of a mission, but we'll keep looking for trinkets around here. 
This is very cool. So this is the paper you get uh, when you enter Ebisu Circuit as a driver. This gets stuck in your window. All right, here we go. ARC. SR20 by the looks of it. Blitz mugs with a couple of Amori gauges sitting here. Some Brembo's, looks like an old HKS or Greddy. There we go, Trust, Greddy, external wastegate. This is the old Grex gear knobs. I have no idea what these turbos are. This one's a Garrett of some sort. Japanese plates. Guys, some Delorto carbs. That's very, very random. Might have something to do with this. Some model kits. HKS GDR and two two-tone S13s. Some knuckles with five stud hubs on them. Circuit spec tune. Moon eyes. Tomei S13. Arms, these look like IKEA formula, but they're not, they don't have a logo on them, so I'm not sure. And here we go, this is actually what this car used to look like when it was a Silady. So that is that car, all reshelled into an S13. Got another Bomex lip up there, and this is very cool. So these are the Tomei tri brace, so normal strut brace, but it also goes to the firewall. Um, got a Cusco rear strut brace up there. Another set of Jun cams, I've been told. And believe it or not, last time I was here, actually out in the backyard, in the dirt, we found an S14 Navin wing. So a three-piece plastic wing that goes on the quarters as well. So that's here. All right, we'll get onto some wheels. That'll give you an idea. AVSs. Oof. All right, jackpot. If you know, you know. I've not seen a set of these in a long time. So these are the earlier version Panasports that I have on my um, Sephiro. Doesn't say size. So there's a full set of these Panasports here. One, two, three, four. Oof. Another set of Regamasters. Some tiny tires. Ooh, all right. LMGTs. There is, yes, a full set. Wow, what size are these? They're gonna be a weak sizes going by the dish. Ah, oh, it's all worn off. That's very, very cool. Uh, some stuck wheels off the Datsun. What do we got over here? Full set of BBSs. These are actually off. Uh, James used to have a GS300 that he used to tow with. This is very cool. I like that old HKS sticker. Here we go. What is in here? Kids Heart. So this company doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> Head gasket. What else can I find? H 
HKS cam gear kit. Wow, just here in the random bin of parts. HKS fuel rail. So as you can see, a lot of cool stuff in here. Now there's one thing that I have left till last because it's the most amazing rare Nismo part I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> so this is an old logo Nismo briefcase that they actually don't have the code to, unfortunately, so no idea if there's something in this. It doesn't sound like it, but you never know. So hopefully one day you can get this open or have the patience to sit here and go through the codes to try and figure it out. So I've just grabbed this box down. Now you wouldn't believe it. People actually pay really good money for these old logo boxes, stuff like this. It's crazy. I want to know if there's actually anything in this Jun box. Just as I was looking around, I just spotted something else that I didn't even realise the S13 had, or I've forgotten about. I don't know if you can see. Hang on, I'll go to the other side. So these are actually a full, mirror, uh, full window piece that sits behind and these light up. As you can see, those are super, super expensive these days. I just spotted something else. Wow. Old Jun boost gauge. That is fucking awesome, actually. And something else I just spotted that I would kill to have. Trust gritty seatbelt pads. Now, James has actually done a run of these or is in the process of these HKS style bean bags. So this is the HKS pattern uh, with bean bags and the little poof things. So if you're actually interested in these, they come in a few different sizes. Uh, give me a message and I can put you on to James if you'd like to purchase one. So I'm about to head into the house because there's actually some more cool stuff in there as well. Where did the Jun Vusque from, Bill? Yahoo? I guess so. This stuff is so cool. Especially that jumper. Yeah, that jumper's cool, eh? They're even tagged Nismo. But this thing's the best. Can't believe you actually wear these overalls while working on your car. I was talking in your garage about Yahoo. Bring up like what you're buying at the moment. So this is Yahoo Auctions. <laughs> <laughs> so Jun SR20 yeah, manifold. It's a Jun's fuel rail too, found out. So Jun manifold, Jun rail and HKS injectors. Yep. What's your bid on it? 30,000. Now just to explain Yahoo Japan better, this is a page that I use. This is called Baiye. So what Baiye is, is a middleman in, I think Japan, because obviously to buy off Japanese eBay, their Yahoo Japan, you need a Japanese bank account, which you don't have. So you need a middleman. Now I use Baiye, I also use Streeter on um, bigger stuff, as is usually cheaper postage. So just for as, as an example, I won this auction uh, last week on this HKS intake for an Evo, which is right here in front of me. So it has already arrived. So it was under a week 
between um, it getting sent from the seller to Baie and then from Baie to me. So very quick on smaller items. But yeah, as you can see, I won this for $213 and it was about a hundred bucks on top of that for postage twice and commissions and blah blah blah. blah. So you're with Baie, you can bid yourself and you pay yourself. If you use Yahoo Japan and go through Streeter, you need to pay up front for the item before you even bid on it and then you get refunded if you don't win it. So it's a bit of a stuff around, but... So just an example, like here's some Yoshio factory stuff. Crap like that. Wheels, heaps of wheels, you know, gauges, blah, blah, blah. And another company you can use is Import Monster. Now Import Monster is in Melbourne and they do containers, so they're really good for bigger items so you know wheels seats body parts stuff like that so you can have it put in their container and it gets shipped to melbourne you can either pick it up from there or then they ship it to you wherever you are in australia so i'm sure a lot of people already know how to use yahoo japan and use it already but that's just a little crash course i guess so yeah that's going to be it for this one thanks heaps billy and uh, james for letting me rummage through all your stuff and i'll see you guys next week